My name is Delinear Shook, and I am the information collector. This week, I am coming to you from Madison County, North Carolina. I am here in the county seat, Marshall, in front of the courthouse, where there is a monument to Colonel Ed Rector, one of the top pilots in the American Volunteer Group also known as the Flying Tigers. This monument was placed here by VFW Post 5483 and American Legion Post 317. Now to this week's open source intelligence briefing. The Wall Street Journal reported that Nestle is developing a new cat food that will neutralize cat saliva proteins that lead to allergies to kitty cats. The U.S. Canadian border will remain closed for another month according to a report from Fox News which I heard on 106.3 WORD. This leads to questions concerning the free flow of people across all borders especially the undocumented less fortunate. This may be a interesting side effect of this pandemic. The USDA, according to multiple press releases, has extended supplemental nutritional assistance program payments to online grocers in several states. More information is available at USDA.gov. DuPont, in a June 15th press release, launched a hashtag Tyvek Together to increase the supply of protective garments to 15 million a month. Tyvek is the slippery stuff that some non-terrible mailing envelopes are made of. It's also what Hot Zone author Richard Preston wore when he visited Katoom Cave, where he believes Ebola originated. They will increase the supply by changing to a new variety, providing garment patterns to other companies. And in addition, they will supply 57,000 garments a month to states on the front lines of the pandemic. According to press releases by the Saudi press agency, Houthi rebels out of Yemen during the past week launched ballistic missile and bomb-laden drone attacks into Saudi Arabia, who alleged these attacks targeted civilians. I would like to thank Fabian Hintz, who pointed me to a Bloomberg article detailing the splintering of the Saudi-backed government-led coalition in the Yemeni civil war. According to the Bloomberg article, a southern Yemeni faction seized the island of Socotra off the Horn of Africa. This is a very unique piece of geography and this is a very unique event in the civil war. I would like to thank Joanna Lillis for pointing me to a Eurasia.org article concerning demonstrations in Tajikistan's gorno badakhshan Autonomous Region. These protests led authorities to release two suspects with only $18 fines. These protests reflect local resentment of national government efforts, which are seen as to attempting to curtail the area's autonomy. And finally, I would like to thank the account of Global Mill Info for pointing me to Times of India articles accounting how the Indian Air Force is moving air superiority fighters and helicopter assets up to eight air bases within range of the contested Ladakh region where China is actively attempting to change the border. These include Sukhoi 30 MKI fighters, Mirage 2000 fighters, and Jaguar fighters. 
Apache gunships, along with Ilmai 17 and Chinook lifting helicopter. This build follows Chinese air activity in the region and clashes in the Galwan Valley area that led to the deaths of 20 Chinese, 20 Indian troops, and also Chinese casualties. That's this week's open source intelligence briefing. God willing, I will come to you next week with more information you need to know.